Shame on all of you. Everybody was laughing at Montreal's lineup yesterday, but not me. In fact, this could be one of the greatest NHL lineups that I've ever seen. The Canadians were in Washington last night with a brand new face. Geniac, what a beauty. He's going to be taking the opening face off and we are underway. The Canadians get off to a strong start. Cole Caulfield pounces on a turnover just six minutes into the game and it's a three on one. He's got Slavkovsky, he's got Suzuki, but watch this pass. He goes right over John Carlson's body tape to tape and Suzuki makes it look easy. We got a one goal game. We're not even 10 minutes in and Caulfield's gone through half a bottle of sauce already. And less than one minute later, Suzuki's not done. He wins a face off deep in the cap zone. Jack Hoy gets the puck and he's gonna walk the blue line like he just owns the place, rings one off the post, and Mr. Ostar is gonna score his second goal of the game. Quick, someone pinch me. There's no way, I'm not dreaming right now. A few minutes later, Michael Pizzetta is about to take a face off. Yes, you heard that right. He loses it, but watch Raphael Harvey Bedard. He's gonna hunt down this puck like it's Osama Bin Laden, dishes it back to Piz who barely even had a chance to move yet, and he's gonna fire one home and put the Canadians up by three. He's just 47 goals away from 50 right now. And we're about to get a goalie change. Former Heb Charlie Lindgren is done. Piz might have just ruined his career. Aid Camper is in. And to his credit, he shuts the door for the remainder of the first period. Now let's move on to the second period where Tanner Pearson is gonna take a penalty like 47 seconds in. And the Washington Capitals, for the first time in this game, look alive. They look dangerous. Samuel Montembeau is forced to make a couple of beauty saves, but eventually Strom is going to find Alexander Ovechkin for a wide open net. We get a bit of a malfunction at the junction. For some reason, nobody picks up Ovi. Yup, the Capitals are just crawling back into this one. You can see the intensity begin to ramp up. We get a lot of turf wars going on after the whistle, and Tanner Pearson is about to take his second penalty of the game. Tanner, 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 Tanner. What are you doing? You're lucky your name doesn't start with an X because Marty would already have soap in your mouth. On the power play, the Caps get a golden opportunity to get back within one, but luckily, David Savard right now is the best goaltender in the league. Max Pacioretty can't believe it. Savard even winked at him. And even though the Canadians get outshot 16 to five in the second period, somehow they're still up by two at the end. It's crazy. Now we're going to move on to the third period where for some reason, Honda Civic and Anthony Mantha just, they don't like each other. Two of them get sent to the box at around the 10 minute mark. So we get a little four on four action and watch what happens. Oh my God. This is by far the nicest goal that I've ever seen Slavkovsky score. Him and Jake Evans are going to do a little crisscross applesauce and watch toe drag release. Top shelf right where mama keeps the jam jams and the canadians are up four to one now but what a quick toe drag i'd like to see some more of that rasmus sandin does answer back and make it four to two but anthony mantha just couldn't resist could he he goes right back after honda civic one last time takes a penalty scratches the paint and the canadians are not happy you don't touch the car they really want to make him pay this time. So Nick Suzuki's like, hey, Matheson, listen up. There's this guy who usually hangs out to your right during the power play. Now we do understand that you can't see him because he's like your own personal John Cena, but trust me, he totally exists. And Matheson, well, he complies. A pass is finally delivered to Slav Cena and boom. He's got a second goal of the game and haters are gonna hate. Samuel Montembeau shuts the door for the remainder of the period and the Canadians walk out of this game with two points in the back pocket. <sighs> the standings, shit. But it's okay because we've seen a lot of positives. I mean, who's seen that coming? The final shots on goal were 39 to 26 in favor of Washington, but the top line of Suzuki, Caulfield, and Slav Cena just, they got the job done. They were incredible. I mean, the Canadians are going to lose a lot of games between now and the end of the season. So, I mean, you might as well soak up a win like this while you can. Any game our 19-year-old teenager pots a couple of goals is a good game, regardless of the outcome. So, you can go ahead and let me know your thoughts down in the comment section. Please don't forget to do a Pearson on the like button before you leave here. And hey, I'll see you next time.